Hey guys, so the Amazon is one of our planet's most well-known rivers. And for many years, it's drawn increased attention from scientists and tourists from the world alike. Now believe us when we say that it has something to amaze you. Today you're going to learn why the Amazon attracts hundreds of surfers, surfers every year, how dolphins appeared in the fullest river in the world, and why there are no bridges across this river. The Amazon can be proudly called the fullest river on the earth. The average water flow in the Amazon is five times greater than its closest competitor, the Congo, and makes up 18% of the total flow of water in rivers that run into the world ocean. This magnificent river pours over 200,000 tons of water into the Atlantic every second and pushes that water up to 100 miles off the coast. Many tribes that have at one time lived on its coast thought of this river as a god, justifiably thinking that their existence depended on it. Now, satellite images of the Amazon look absolutely unbelievable, and its size is, of course, impressive. It received its current name from Spaniard Francisco de Orellana. In the summer of 1542, while sailing along the river, he seemed to find a group of warrior women like those of the ancient Greek myths about the Amazons and fought with them. Naturally, they are now considered native women, or men with long hair, that the Spanish thought were women. Nevertheless, the natives were so impressive, Francisco, who wanted to name the river after himself, not changed his mind and named it after the legendary Amazons. If you need more evidence that the Amazon is the greatest river, uh, its basin is over 2.7 square miles, and naturally, there is no larger river basin. This is kind of the equivalent to the size of Australia, meaning one river's basin is the same size, get this, as an entire continent. The Amazon is also the longest river in the world, although this is disputed in scientific circles. With the minimal measurements, it's 4,000 miles long, but if you measure it from the Ucali as its source, then the Amazon is 4,411 miles long, 93 miles longer than the Nile. However, the Amazon's path is complex and inconsistent and changes with the seasons, making it kind of hard to pin down an exact measurement. So that's what makes the finalized length of this river still open for discussion. But let's move on to something a little lesser known, but no less interesting facts about the world's largest river. So in 2011, Brazilian geophysicists from the National Observatory shared an extremely interesting discovery with the world. After comparing the temperatures of the water from cracks in various parts of the Amazon's basin, researchers realized they had found an underwater river below the Amazon. Water in it flows from west to east, like the Amazon does. The Hamza River is an unofficial name given to the underwater current that is about two and a half miles below the surface. But it's very difficult to call the Hamza a river. Its current is extremely slow at only a few inches a year. It moves slower than glaciers do, but Nevertheless, the suspected length of this underwater current may be up to 3,728 miles, with an average flow rate of 138,000 cubic feet per second. So this characteristic of the Amazon's underground double is just 20% behind the Nile. But interestingly, the water from the underground current, that according to scientists, may be up to 250 miles wide, is very salty. When these unusual discoveries are made, you can confidently say that man is still far from understanding all the processes that occur underground. But there are also some other curious processes that happen on the Amazon surface. As a rule, something amazing happens twice a year. Water from the Atlantic Ocean runs up the river for hundreds of miles. The waves that happen because of this are called bores. In South America, it's called the Pororoca, a tidal bore. It can be up to 13 feet tall with speeds up to 15 miles an hour. It's so powerful you can hear it up to 30 minutes before you even see it. And as they say, where there are waves, there are surfers. Since 1999, there have been river surfing festivals on the Guama River every year. Now, this festival attracts hundreds of participants, but it's worth mentioning that the Poroca is very dangerous. 
The thrill seekers may be met with more than just trash, including trees. They also might come across some unfriendly local wildlife. However, it's not so easy to scare off these daredevils, so the river surfing has many fans. But if we're talking about the Amazon region as a whole, there actually is one bridge. It's a cable bridge 2.23 miles long across the Rio Negro, the Amazon's largest left tributary. This bridge connects the largest Brazilian city in Manaus with the municipality in Iranduba. Its central span is 607 feet tall and provides free ship travel along the Rio Negro even when the waters are at their highest. The bridge was built in just under four years and cost about $625 million. Considering the price, there probably won't be anything similar built anytime soon. However, that might be for the best since the urbanization of the Amazon basin is leading to even more deforestation. Manaus, that's home to about 2 million residents, is in the center of the world's largest tropical rainforest. Now in 2020 alone, 4,250 square miles of forest along the Amazon River were cut down. That's the highest amount in the last 12 years. But why does this phenomenon happen? As a result of the changing position of the moon and sun compared to the Earth, along with gravity affecting our planet's rotation, a powerful influx of salt water from the Atlantic Ocean occurs that meets the waters of the Amazon in its estuary. The thicker ocean water pushes again the river water causing the bore. Meeting the shallows, the wave grows in size. Additionally, the effect is amplified as it moves up the river away from the wide delta. The Pororoca can travel up the continent almost 500 miles, and that might be why there are animals in the Amazon that you would never expect. That includes the unpopular toothy piranha, or the black caimans as well as the Amazon River dolphins, or boto. They are differentiated by their long, leathery muzzle that is excellent for catching fish, cotton branches, and for digging crustaceans out of the silt. The boto can be up to 8 feet long and weigh up to 440 pounds. They have small eyes because their vision in the cloudy water isn't so important. It's easier to find food using echolocation. But why did these saltwater natives move to fresh water? Hilly Hamilton, a biologist from the California Academy of Science, says that about 15 million years ago the sea level was higher so the wider parts of the current southern Amazon was under a layer of salt water. But over time, the seas receded and some of the dolphins stayed in their former territories. Over millions of years in the Amazon basin, they evolved into a completely different species that's not very similar to their sea cousins. How else can the Amazon surprise you? Despite the impressive accomplishments of modern developed science, even today, People have not built a single bridge across the main part of this magnificent river, so it actually splits South America into two parts. Some of its sources are just 125 miles from the Pacific Ocean, but the Amazon flows into the Atlantic. There are several reasons for the lack of bridges. One problem is the river itself. The water level changes inconsistently. The river's width varies from 2.5 to 3.1 miles across and the narrowest part of the river is just 1.1 miles wide. But in January, when the rainy season begins, the Amazon bloats for a few weeks, up to 6.2 to 12.4 miles wide. In comparison, Lake Constance, one of the largest lakes in Europe, is 8.7 miles across at its widest point. But there are things in the way of bridge building. As Professor Gerard Harold, an expert in geophysics says, Technically, building a bridge would be possible, but would be incredibly expensive. Since the riverbed is made up of soft river sediment, the bridge supports would have to be very, very deep. But the main reason for the absence of dry land crossings is that building a giant bridge is economically not feasible. No one would use it. The river basin isn't known for a large amount of settlements, and there are practically no roads there. If you want to enjoy the beauty of the tropical Amazon rainforest, you should take a boat. The river itself is kind of a road through the Amazon. This type of transport is popular among the locals. Even cities like Macapa, that have a half a million people, are only connected to the rest of Brazil by the Amazon. New species of fish, 
reptiles, plants, and insects are still being discovered today in the Amazon jungle. Over the last 17 years, about 2,000 new species have been discovered in the region. In the huge area of the Amazon, there are over a million different species of plants and animals. Without exaggeration, you could call this a world genetic foundation. Additionally, tropical forests are our planet's lungs. And no one is planning on stopping deforestation. It wouldn't hurt the world's GDP by more than 4%. If the governments in Brazil, Colombia, and other countries that control a significant part of the Amazon rainforest don't think long and hard, the negative consequences will affect the entire world. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to leave us a like if you learned something new. Let us know what you thought in the comments, and uh, we'll see you next time.